fans, and welcome to another edition of Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday. Uh, uh, so we'll have to call us a pregame third quarter show. Uh, uh, the Browns are right now up, walloping the Cincinnati Bengals 35-7 to with 10.44 to go in the third. And the Browns just had uh, six unanswered touchdowns. That's it. Four unanswered touchdowns uh, in the first quarter in the, in the first half, and now they just scored one in the third. And we'll talk more about, about the Browns game in just a second. Uh, uh, but first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday trivia question: Which Browns QB held uh, held an NFL held NFL an NFL record for Consecutive complete passes without an interception until December 26, 2010, when Tom Brady set a new record. Uh, I will have the answer later on the broadcast. Um, now the Browns have come off the bye week and are getting are taking on the Cincinnati Bengals right now at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. Baker Mayfield is the starting QB. Uh, Browns forward uh, and or I should say uh, yeah forward and well. A.J. Green will not play today, and so that means that uh, forward safety Demarius Randall will get the start in place of the injured A.J. Green. The Browns did not beat the Bengals in their first meeting earlier this season, and they are looking to get a little revenge uh, this time, and so far, they are right now. Uh, and uh, the Brown- and uh, if the Browns want to come out of this game with a win, they are going to have to... Uh, stop the Bengals' offense as well as the defense, and they are really going to have to stop and really put the pressure on uh, Bengals' QB, Andy Dalton. Head coach Greg Williams says, no way will the Browns change their uh, play calls or schemes when (coughs) going up against the Bengals. Now, uh, Williams also says, said, the Browns will not let anything throw them off, even though uh, Hugh Jackson was a hired by the Bengals as a special assistant to Marvin Lewis. Now, the Browns are really... Baker Mayfield has been 7 of uh, 20... uh, 17 of 22 yards, 245 yards so far, and three touchdowns, no interceptions. And uh, they were on... The Bengals scored their first touchdown in the first half off of Browns play. It was a big play that they uh, 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 messed up on, but... Right now, they're up 35-7. And meanwhile, the Bengals are coming off a three-point loss to the Baltimore Ravens in Week 11. Uh, uh, And last week. And they know the Browns have tricks up their sleeves. And they are are going to have to come up with a, a good strategy plan and plays as well to really stop the Browns' defense. And the offense and Browns QB Baker May- Baker Mayfield, and right now they are down right now uh, in the uh, third quarter. And the other um, early game action that we have for you today that's going on right now. Uh, all right, but before I get to that, I'm gonna go back and recap the uh, games from Thanksgiving Day. The Chicago Bears beat the Detroit Lions 23 to 16 at Soldier Field in Chicago. And uh, Chase Daniel, what a day for him. And starting for the injured Mitch Trubisky, boy, did he have a great day. Uh, <coughs> the Dallas Cowboys beat the uh, uh, Washington Redskins and uh, uh, Big D in Dallas, 31-23. to uh, Dick Prescott, boy, what a day for him. He had a phenomenal game. And the New Orleans Saints walloped the Atlanta Falcons 31-17. to Atlanta just uh, did not have it in this one, but Drew Brees, oh, he had another incredible game. Now, for the early 1 o'clock games we have, uh, you know the Browns are playing right now, and they're up 35-7. to The Giants are playing the Philadelphia Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. The... Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars are playing the Buffalo Bills at Ralph Wilson Stadium in Buffalo. 
The Seattle Seahawks are playing the Carolina Panthers in Bank of America Stadium in Carolina. The Oakland Raiders are playing the Baltimore Ravens at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. The San Francisco 49ers are playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay. And the New England Patriots are playing the New York Jets at uh, MetLife Stadium in uh, in uh, New York. In New York. Uh, and, uh, now, and the late games we have coming up for today later on. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals are playing the uh, L.A. Chargers at StubHub Center in Los Angeles. The Pittsburgh Steelers are playing the Denver Broncos at Sports Authority Field in my, in uh, Denver. And uh, the Miami Dolphins are playing the Indianapolis Colts at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. And Sunday Night Football tonight, the Green Bay Packers and uh the Minnesota Vikings will square off for the second time this season at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minnesota. And the last time they met, they tied. They they tied the last time they met, which was, I think, the open week two, actually. And they had tied, and it was, I think, a 30 – it was a 29-29 tie, I think is what it was. So we'll see what happens this time. And, and – uh, the, and Monday Night Football, the Tennessee Titans will take on the Houston Texans at NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. And uh, and I really feel this is going to be a good game between the uh, Texans and, and the uh, the uh, Titans. Now, <clears throat> uh, we will get to the picks of the week in uh, just a moment. But uh, right now, it is time for the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Trivia Question, Football Sunday Trivia Question. Which Browns QB held the NFL record for uh, consecutive completed passes without an interse- interception until December 26, 2010, when Tom Brady set a new record? And if you said number 19, Bernie Kosar, you are correct. In 1990 and 1991, Kozar set a league record by throwing 318 consecutive passes without an interception, which stood for almost uh, two decades. So, and that's when, in 2010, Tom Brady broke that record. I'll have another trivia question on my next broadcast, uh, which will be uh, on my Monday Night Football podcast, so stay tuned for that. Now... And it is now time for my the rest of my picks of the of the week. My 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 brother in law's picks of the week, and uh, and he will be joining me on the early game post game show and late game pre- and also the preview of the late games, which will be after the Browns game and the other early games have concluded. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars and. So far, my brother-in-law and I are 2-1 and one right now because we both took Detroit, and they lost to the Chicago Bears. And uh, we both took Dallas and, and New Orleans, and they both won, so we're 2-1 and one right now. Here are the late games for today, the early games for today, the, our, our picks of the week for today, the rest of them. Uh, Jacksonville, I've taken Jacksonville to be Buffalo. We both have, my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle, and I. We've both taken the Baltimore Ravens to beat the Oakland Raiders. Both took the... Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers to beat the 49ers. We both have taken the Eagles to beat the Giants. And we both have taken the Browns to beat the Bengals, the Patriots to beat the New York Jets, uh, the Panthers to uh, beat the Seattle Seahawks, the Indianapolis Colts to beat the Dolphins, the uh, Chargers to beat the Cardinals, the Steelers to beat the Broncos, and the Vikings to beat the Packers, and the Texans to beat the Titans. So, for this week, my brother-in-law and I are going to end up in a tie. So, we'll we'll see uh, what happens. And I really think the Browns are going to win this game, and they're up 35-7. And I I did give a score prediction of 24-21, so I know that's off. But I think they got the edge in this game. And so, uh, we'll see what happens, and I'll recap it during the early game post-game show, along with my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle. And so, that's going to wrap it up for... uh, this uh, for the Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday uh, uh, early game pregame show, uh, third quarter pregame third quarter show, 
And so I will be back with the uh, post-game show for the early games on the uh, late, 4 o'clock late game pregame show once the early games have – Browns and the early games, Bengals and early games have concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.